Life Through Christ An audio from Stand for Christ Ministries His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. 2 Peter 1:3. It is only the life-giving power of Jesus Christ flowing through us that allows us to bear fruit in our lives which is pleasing to God. It is His divine power that equips us to be witnesses to Christ in this world and ultimately fulfill God's purpose in and through our lives. And it is only through His power, working in and through our lives, can our lives truly bring glory to God. However, the extent to which we experience this life-transforming power is dependent upon the depth of our connection to God and us continually abiding in Christ. This is why, in John 15 4, Jesus says, Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself, it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit, unless you remain in me. The extent to which we experience the life-giving power of Jesus in our lives, is dependent upon our complete and total surrender to Him. It is dependent upon the extent to which we fully surrender our hearts, our minds, and our lives for the purposes of God. And it is dependent upon the extent to which we allow ourselves to simply be instruments in His hands. Instruments fully yielded and fully submitted to doing the will of the Father. Instruments committed not to the will of man or the will of self, but consumed with submitting to and living out the will of the Almighty God. This point is better illustrated with the analogy of a carpenter and a nail. You see, the power of a nail to fulfill its purpose does not lie in the nail, but with the carpenter, through his hammer. The nail on its own, can do nothing by itself. It needs to be picked up by the carpenter, who then using the hammer, directs the nail to fulfill the particular purpose, for which he the carpenter has in mind. You see, the carpenter has a plan, and purpose. And he alone, decides where and how best, he will use the nail. The carpenter, through the hammer, then empowers the nail, to fulfill that purpose. The nail can do absolutely nothing, on its own. It cannot move on its own, or decide how, and where it will be used. The nail merely needs to submit, and allow itself to be used, as the carpenter intends. From this analogy, God through His Son, Jesus Christ, can be likened to the carpenter, while we are the nails. And God in His wisdom, and omniscience has a divine plan, and purpose for each, and every single one of us. His plans are and always will be better, than any plan or purpose we could ever come up with, for our lives. This is why Isaiah 28, 29 says, All this also comes from the Lord Almighty, whose plan is wonderful, whose wisdom is magnificent. Like the nail, if we are to be used as best as God intends, then we need to completely place ourselves in His hands and trust in Him. We need to submit every aspect of our lives completely to Him, and depend upon the power of His Holy Spirit for strength. And then, as fully yielded instruments, let God use us as He see fit. It does not mean that life will suddenly become easier, or that we will sail through the trials and challenges of this life. But you see, when we make the decision to fully submit every aspect of our lives to the Lordship of Christ, then His divine power will flow in and through us, through His Holy Spirit. And then, no matter what we go through, and no matter the task that the Lord places before us, we too will then be able to proclaim, what the scriptures say in Philippians 4.13, that, I can do all things, through Christ who strengthens me. The Good News A Gospel Message of Jesus Christ For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. John 3:16. This is the Gospel message of Jesus Christ. This is the good news, friend, if you are listening to this and have not yet come to Jesus Christ and accepted Him as the Savior of your soul and Lord over your life, I urge you to come to Him, today, now, while you have the opportunity. I urge you to turn from your sins and turn to Christ. Christ came into the world to save us from the power of sin, reveal God to us and save our souls, all because of His immeasurable love for us. 
Without Christ, the very destiny of your soul right this moment hangs in the balance between heaven and hell. An uncomfortable and often unwelcome truth, but a truth nonetheless. A truth being shared with you in love and with urgency because it has eternal and irreversible consequences. The other sobering side of the message is this, whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son, John 3 17-18. This moment, a choice lies before you and your decision regarding Jesus Christ will have eternal implications for your soul that cannot be reversed. Telling you tomorrow may be too late may sound like an exaggeration but countless souls thought the same, some ridiculed the message and ignored the opportunity to come to Christ. Many were taken from the world without warning, and now that opportunity is forever lost. Please don't let that be you. Turn to Christ today as your Lord and Savior so that you may be right with God and that your soul be saved. Jesus promises that no one who comes to Him will be turned away. Come to Christ today, tomorrow may be too late. If you would like to know more or would like us to pray with you, kindly email us at standforchrist at mail.com.